anytime you buy a, an existing property, you're going to inherit all of the history of that property, good or bad. So in this particular case, I purchased this farm. I think the barn, based on what we've been told, goes back, dates back to 1840s. And then there were some architectural plans and some things on the outside that were redone in the 1920s. A lot of things were patched in and, and put in for, for various reasons. As you can see, I've taken out a lot of this, and we're going to take a look at uh, sometimes what you might inherit. One of the things we're dealing with here in this particular barn is they had sheep. So as you can see here behind me, uh, there was probably about 20 years worth of sheep manure here that nobody bothered to clean out. And um, although we grew up with horses and manure is a good thing, this particular manure has been almost petrified. It's in layers. I almost have to chip it out. It's real difficult to take out. So what I've been doing is wearing this mask because there's a lot of mold and mildew and um, just real dust in there that I don't really want to breathe in. And I've been putting it in the tractor, uh, front end loader, and then I'm taking it out to the burn pile and I'm burning it, just like the uh, pioneers used to burn dung on the prairie. As I was raking this out, I thought I'd gotten most of it. It looks pretty clean here. But uh, then you notice there's kind of a hollow sound when you knock on this. A much different sound here. That led me to realize that there was a coating here. And so as you can see in almost all of the barn, there's a thin coat or a veneer of sheep dung on the top.